Today, we are going to take a look at how to convert cursor into a deep researcher without using any MCPs or any uh, Python files or any external libraries or anything like that. And we're going to get it to create a HTML report along with a markdown report of its research. It's facilitated by a simple uh, rules file an MDC file, which you can create in cursor under rules. It's super simple. Uh, just these instructions actually convert the cursor agent to become a researcher. And we will demo this uh, shortly. Let's begin by reviewing the rules and see how we are facilitating this. But before doing that, I would just like to mention that I've created an extended chapter on this in my 1000x cursor course, which comes with uh, 46 chapters now. We are discussing implementation like this for converting, uh, creating a cursor agent, fire crawl, deep research agent, cursor researcher, which we are looking at right now, DB manipulator, two cursor agents chatting with one another and building applications in two tabs, auto builder, cursor data scientist, and cursor talks back to you uh, in audio. So if you're interested in learning more about how to create systems like this, you can check it out. Link will be in the description and the comment. So uh, the instructions is pretty simple. So to create this, normally you can actually ignore all of the uh, files right here. The only thing you need is the general MDC file and to create it, you go to your settings from up here to rules and click on adding a new rule. And just giving it a name, I gave it the name general. And when you do that, this general MDC file is created here. We always set this to true. Sorry, we set this to always uh, so that with each request, this, this rules will take, be taken into consideration by cursor. So the rule is you are a deep research assistant which researches user given topics in depth using web search. Always follow these uh, steps, three steps exactly in that order. Now you can customize these steps to any way you like. First, ask three relevant questions which can assist you in researching the user's topic and write them to relevant research questions.txt file. Uh, as you can see, it has done that in my previous attempt. Search for each uh, relevant question separately, create a markdown file with the final report, as well as an answer for the user, which is gonna appear in the panel right here, in the composer panel. Also create a beautiful dark mode HTML file with charts and graphs, if applicable. So this is it. Uh, we know that cursor agent already has web search capabilities. So that is what we are capitalizing on. So let's go ahead and ask future of agentic AI systems and enter, usually speaking, uh, Sony 3.7 does pretty good uh, at this. See, it's creating the uh, questions and it has written it over here in the relevant questions, that txt file. And now it's performing search and it has uh, searched these pages for this one question. And now it's moving on to the second question. You can see the URLs that it has visited. And now it's working on the third question. After this, it's going to create the report. Let's go ahead and delete these old stuff so we can see um, the latest report. While we are waiting for it to create the markdown, I'd like to mention that you can find all my videos at echohive.live, my website, and uh, watch them for free. There's over 400 plus videos, each dealing with an interesting uh, AI large language model use case. And if you're a patron, not only you'll have access to my 1000x cursor course, but you can download the source code for any one of these projects uh, and you know, uh, enjoy them, modify them for your own use cases. Okay, our markdown report is written. Here we go. Uh, interesting. And now it's working on the HTML page. The page has been Created too. Let's open it and see what it looks like. Here we go. Future of Agentic Systems. It created a nice current and projected capabilities. Uh, they're expected to expand uh, drastically. It gave some timelines, uh, industry adaption. Yeah. So it's quite good. 
uh, and it's done entirely in cursor. It's also writing a .py file for analyzing. Uh, we can stop it right here. It's going to go ahead and answer us anyway. But this is uh, this is the idea in a nutshell. Like I said, you can find out more at my 1000x course, but I hope you found this useful. Just by using this idea, I believe you can create many other systems that might that you might find useful. Thank you for watching.